Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're joining us in Berlin. We're here at Tempelhof Airport at the Expo, about to go in and pick up our number. And yeah, can't wait to show you all about that and what's going on there and chat about the goals for this race as well. The great man Kipchoge is going to be here on the start line. How close is he going to get to his two hours, one minute? 39 seconds world record well we don't know but we're going to try and keep up with him the best we can but for now we're going to head inside and yeah pick up our number and see what's going inside there sit back relax guys let's get the berlin marathon Tough. So it's so cool as you come in to the expo. It's actually in uh, airport, Tempelhof Airport, which closed down in about 2010, I think, as all the Berlin airports changed. So, so what are the Berlin airports? Schoenefeld closed down, Tempelhof. Tegel turned down, oh, this and this one closed down. And now Brandenburg. there's just one Brandenburg Airport which we flew into. It's like a brand new airport. You anyway, we're not here to chat about airports, just to admi admire the beauty here. We're gonna head out now onto where the old runways were and then into one of the hangars, I think, for where the expo is. Right guys, just gone through, scanned my, it's all on, it's all on your phone these days, like that Apple wallet thing, passport, and now we're just queuing up to get a wristband, quite ultra style. Thanks, you. And there we go, cool wristband on there. Thanks, you. Look, wristband, Sarah. Oh, it's like on all ultra, all, all, uh, what are those things you like doing? Trail races. <laughs> you like doing it, I'm not very good at it. So guys, you might not know, but Berlin is not all about running. There's also uh, rollerblading, a rollerblading marathon, or rollerblading, inline skating, I think is the official term, uh, marathon that happens on the Saturday, as well as hand biking as well, if you sort of lie back and, and cycle along like that. So I'm not sure the exact terms. But yeah, we'll try and get some footage of the uh, inline skating because they go so, so fast. I, put, I don't even know. I'll put what kind of finish times they do for the marathon uh, on the screen now. But obviously we're here all about the running and, uh, and the race on Sunday. So yeah, let's go and get the number. Right, it's so numbers time now. As far as I would think, you can just pick any person. We're just going to pick someone that looks friendly with a nice smile. You start and look. Ah, so very fast. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> this is your luggage bag. This is to stick on the luggage bag. And this is your uh, Off the chip. chip. Okay. Do you need some needles? Yes, please. Hello. Thank you. Okay. Enjoy your race. Thank you. Thanks, Shane. There we go, number, wave A. Um, yeah, excited about that. We'll put the live tracking link uh, up on the screen now and down in the uh, description of the video for anyone that wants to follow along on race day, see how we get on. Right, it's, it's <laughs> so busy in here. Um, let's get, we're now walking around all the Adidas official merch. Right guys, so we're in the middle of all of the merch. There's probably a good couple of thousand people in this one massive star shop. I know I joked about it a little bit when we were at UTMB with all of the Iron Man type thing, but this is on a whole nother level. And yeah, Berlin Marathon must be a very, very wealthy organization these days. It started in about 1974, I think the first race in Berlin by a baker who was just really enthusiastic about running and the running culture. And it started down in the forest in the, uh, west side of Berlin um, but yeah now it's just grown into this massive thing oh don't drop your phone Sarah but a pledge that me and Sarah really want to make for next year is to run more local races more races with smaller um, race organizers and support some people these people don't need our support they're great to do these type of races and we will do them we want to do more races and go to see more local races all, all around Europe and the world basically is what we want to do and uh, yeah, highlight the amazing things that do go on out there. It's not all about the majors, but they are really good fun. And if anyone wants to support our little local business, making running hats and tops, this long sleeve is back in stock now. And we do make generally the best running hats anywhere. So yeah, check that out, benparks.com. Get yourself a running hat for your next race. Right, Sarah, are you ready to head into town? Yes, that's good. Let's go and see what the center of Berlin's got in store. Go out there. <laughs> Need a bit of chill out time after all that. Hi 
Right guys, we've made it up to the beautiful Brandenburg Gate, which hopefully we'll be running through at the weekend. If we make it this far, we should make it to the finish because it's only about another 295 meters or something like that. I don't know, just down there to the finish. But yeah, beautiful symbol. Uh, I suppose in the past, a symbol of great separation, but in modern day times, a symbol of peace and the coming together of everybody. As so many people, about 45 odd thousand people from all around the world will be gathered just down there about a kilometre on the start line here on Sunday. I cannot wait to share the start line with lots of you guys as well out there. As I'm sure a lot of you know, this is the blue line we'll be following. But this is 2022. There wasn't the first time I've done the marathon here. In 2008, I came here to run the marathon with a friend of mine, one of my best friends at the time. And yeah, we were so poor, we couldn't afford the flights to get here um, that would have got us in time here to go to the expo. So we had to find like a friend of a friend of a friend that lived in Berlin that could go to the expo for us so we could book the flights that got here on Saturday night on Ryanair, which were, they cost us about 25 pounds for a return ticket. It was the only way we could afford. And then we had again, a friend of a friend that let us stay in a children's kindergarten. <laughs> I know this sounds ridiculous, a children's kindergarten um, that he was like the uh, manager of because yeah, we just couldn't afford a hotel either. So we stayed in this children's kindergarten overnight. Uh, we were in Berlin for all of about, it was about 20 hours or something like that before our return flight back home again the next day. Just a crazy trip, around four, three hours 56. I've got some really dodgy pictures I'll put up on the screen now of that. Yeah, just an amazing experience back when and how amazing times have changed now. Running a lot for faster times as well. So yeah, my, I think my slowest time I've run a marathon is well over four hours and fastest obviously 2.25. So it just goes to show you guys, keep dreaming, keep working hard and you can achieve some great things. Right, where were we? I suppose a lot of people want to know about kit and stuff. Well, for the race, I've got this new, new saw singlet, which isn't even on the website yet. The new design for the autumn, which looks really cool. So yeah, new Ben Parks design, super lightweight, just incredible singlet. That will be on the website soon, <laughs> next week probably, when the Berlin race video comes out. What else have we got? Some body glides, so we can get two chafed up. Uh, Morton drinks on the morning of the race, so I'll be making this up with some orange juice and to be sipping on that all morning. Getting the carbs in for gels. I think you saw me earlier. Just get this box of gels. We're having five gels going. Well, I'll be taking five gels round with me, um, which I will be putting in my naked band, which is here, which will just go around my waist. So I have the GoPro Hero 10 in there with a little, this little microphone uh, for that. In terms of socks, I've just got some stance socks there. Pretty standard kit. Taking the Ben Parks matte black hat around, which is very similar to that one, uh, but just looks quite nice. And some saw shorts, my fluorescent shorts. If you want to spot me, I'll be wearing these. And what else have we got in here? I've got some black gloves. I don't know where to take my black gloves. These are a lot more comfortable or the pink gloves and yeah, some GoPro batteries. I think that is it in terms of kit taking round. And as you have seen in the last video, we'll be going with the Alpha Fly 2s as well. So yeah, there we go. There's my number, you can see it already. Right, let's carry on a little walk. We're on the start finish line now. We're heading down to what is called the victory column just down here. We're gonna wrap up the video. In terms of my goals for the race, I know it's just so boring, but just wanting to get around and feel good is kind of the goal. I'll be setting off about sort of four to 410 kilometers, coming in around two, 250, 255, something like that. I will take that. Yes, it's a world away from the times we've run in the past. I'm in no good shape at the moment. The knees coming back, the hands, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff going on. Just want to bank a good time, and then we can really draw a line in the sand, and then build back up to Valencia. And I cannot wait to bring that to you guys in the future. So yeah, good luck to everyone out there. Super excited 
to yeah a super excited for you guys out there and experiencing berlin i hope you get your pb your prs and all of that sort of stuff let us know how you get on yeah we're going to take the gopro around and film and bring in all the legendary atmosphere from germany around the world as well so yeah lots of luck guys thank you for all the support you guys give us check out the website ben, <laughs> benparks.com oh yeah for all the latest running hats training gear plans are all on there and we will see you very very soon the next video probably will be the race video excited for that so from me and Sarah from Berlin, Germany, lots of love and we'll see you in the next one.